Today's educational moment is how do you pass your business to the next generation? The first question is what challenges are commonly faced by family-owned businesses? Well, a family-owned business often encounters several challenges, including the death of a charismatic founder or a family member who works in the business, inexperienced and unknowledgeable family members, as well as their spouses who could get involved in the business, inequality in treatment between different generations and even within the same generation between brothers and sisters and cousins and family conflicts and psychological or behavioral issues that lead to family tensions that may require outside help. Another question is what steps should be taken by family business owners to address these challenges and transition the business to the next generation? Well, a family business owner should have a clearly defined management succession plan, it includes the following components. It builds a governance model that works with the family's future, and it clearly defines transition goals and the value to be received for years of hard work. It develops a personal exit strategy embraced and impl implemented by family members and others within the company. It determines who's going to remain employed, what their compensation is, and the duration of their employment. And it considers excluding family members with a sense of entitlement who have no work ethic from significant business roles. How can ownership interests be transferred with a, within a family business? Well, you can gift assets or an ownership interest during the owner's lifetime. That's one way to transfer an ownership interest, especially to a child who's interested in running the business. And to ensure fairness, you can involve the less involved children, but they can receive other assets or have a portion of their ownership placed in a trust that's managed by a team of family and outside advisors for their benefit. Key decisions can be reserved for all involved parties while voting control may remain with the active child. Are there any tips for charismatic founders in a family-owned business? Well, charismatic founders want to ensure that their children's active participation in the business is incurred early on from a long, young age and provides for a comprehensive education in all aspects of the business. But hiring professional managers may be necessary if the founder's presence overshadows family involvement, or if the children do not possess the same skills and talents as the charismatic founder. A well-structured management succession plan can help with this transition. What considerations should be made for different types of family-owned businesses? Well, the management succession plan structure depends on whether the family business is a rocket ship, which is likely to thrive and grow, a legacy or lifestyle business that's focused on family lifestyle and values, or in the event of an unexpected exit. In any case, it's important to find competent, incentivized managers who align with the company's and the family's vision and the values to protect the managers from unforeseen family decisions. How should the management succession plan or transition plan be communicated to family members? With sensitivity and care, this can be a challenging and emotional task. Engaging a family governance expert may assist in facilitating these discussions, and there are also apps that are available to help organize documents, manage meetings, and make decisions and share information among family members, shareholders, and directors. What comes after addressing the key details in the succession plan for a family-owned business? Well, once the management succession plan's in place, the focus shifts to mechanics and the structure of a long-term portion of the plan, including an overall long-term exit strategy, which I refer to as a business succession plan. This exit could involve selling the business to a strategic buyer, a private equity firm, a family office, or planning for the family business to continue operating in the owner's absence. Income and transfer taxes, especially if the business is valuable and the owner has substantial assets outside the business, play a significant role in this planning. What role does a planning team play in the process? Well, you want to get a business succession expert or exit planner who creates the strategy for the overall plan and is crucial for its success.
The business exit expert will first assist in creating a management succession plan for the business and then proceed to developing the business exit strategy. The team typically includes family governance experts, CPAs, attorneys, family planners, and insurance agents and appraisers. If you want to know more about passing on your business, your family-owned business to the next generation, check out my book, Your Multi-Million Dollar Exit, which is available on Amazon as well as at waynezell.com. You can also reach a business exit planning expert through aspiretoexit.com. This has been Blueprint for Wealth, and we hope you have a great day.